we can't exactly skip chapter 4 from, or at least prevent it from starting. So we're just going to have to do a little bit of the start of chapter 4 and then just go immediately into side content from there. So now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Ah, uh, we got a lot to go through. Alright, so email. I need some help. Ooh, maybe I should have maybe I should have done something else so I could hold my voice a bit more. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um There is someone with a scary look on their face at the bar. It did not change no matter what kind of song I sang. They did not look as though they were having fun at all. I told the bartender, but I am still worried. What should I do, Wayne? Email. I think that was her voice. <laughs> I need to meet with her again. Asil. I haven't been able to get that girl from the Heaven's Egg out of my head since I got back to town. I guess this whole thing isn't over after all. I need to go back to the Heaven's Egg again. I hope you won't mind coming with me. Cheers. Asil. And I got some information from Miss Dina. Apparently, there's been another incident in Arjean. It's a good opportunity for us to get a clue on who, on who our attacker could be. Let's have, head over there right away. I'll wait for you in Arjean. From Istina. And the Castle Lewis Times, Summer Breeze. Oh, right. We had this whole thing with Unicorn. Uh, greetings, citizens. The Princess of Lewis's com coming of age ceremony was recently held. Having come of age, we now expect that she will be taking a more active administrative role alongside the king. Look out for the enhanced operations for our most noble Lewis royal family. Castle Lewis Intelligence Division. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Okay. I don't want to do any quests bye right bye. now. So let's go find somebody to um to help out first. I think my candidate will be a still actually. Because we're going to have to wait for um, Brack? <laughs> what was her name? <laughs> uh, I just need to look in that party. But can I remember before I do? No, 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 no. Okay. Um, party. Shrika! Right. Alright, so Brack and Shrika. Ugh. Oh, yeah, right. Who's gonna be the main party now? Move a move. So. This? This? This party screen is really getting filled out. This might be everybody, honestly. Which is the crazy part, because we only have three slots left for jobs that we can acquire. But I can only see like one, maybe two more people that can fit on this screen without it like being a scroll. I think the thing was that I was trying to use Astina so that we could see her technique, right? So yeah, let's go ahead and do that then. I hope I'm in the right spot, actually. That, I need to stop doing that. Head to the cultivation pots in the Heaven's Egg. Okay. If we go back here, it should lead us into... Oh yeah, what are those... You know what? I will stick with these classes, because I enjoy these two the most out of the new ones that we've gotten. Um... Yeah, because... What other ones would there be? Shadow Walker is a lot of fun. Skylancer, I feel like I haven't tapped into it yet. Stand with Mechanic, and... Wugland. The only thing is that I would maybe replace Avenger with something else. So that, because I already have fire damage here. And having wind damage could be nice. I'll consider it later. Oh. Ein. I'm sorry for calling you, but I can't get Tiella out of my head. I've been thinking about her too. You have? It would probably do us both some good to talk about it then. But I can't find Hyde nor Hertha. Do you think she's deeper in? Hmm. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah. You came again? You must really want to see me. That voice, your Tiella, right? Peekaboo! <laughs> I'm so happy to see you, truly. There's no need to stare. 
I'll tell you whatever you need to know. Okay, so... I have so many questions. But first, you need to tell me who you are. You look like her, and sound like her, but you're not Tiala, are you? You can't be. Ah, I see. So it was you who killed her? <laughs> Guess the chick is up. You got me. I'm not Tiala. I am... Um, hmm. I guess you can just call me Otella. But you look just like her. Wow, no need to look so disappointed. Does my appearance really bother you that much? There's a reason I look like her, you know? Well, go on then. Why do you look like Tiala? Because I'm just like her. I'm another biological unit created to control the dragons. You could call me a backup, I guess. A backup? Exactly. Which is why I look just like her. From the roots of my hair, to the tips of my nails. Every facet of me is an exact replica. I was made exactly in her image. So, you're an artificial human. Oh, yuck. You don't have to say it like that. Although you're not completely wrong. I was born inside one of these cultivation pods, after all. You know, there used to be a lot more Tiellas back in the day. You mean, besides you and Tiella herself? Yep. Although everyone was decommissioned before we were ever used. Then why are you here? Well, I was due to be decommissioned like the others. But alas... Lady Luck was not on my side. What does that have to do with Luck? Coincidentally, I was kept alive in a state of suspended animation. And thanks to you, I finally woke up. You see, I was activated as the backup after Tiella died. You mean, you woke up when I killed the giant dragon? Bingo! I was the unit in the best shape, so I ended up drawing the short straw. And so here I am, with no essential dragons left to control. You're really not Tiella. Well, I'm drawing data from her memory recordings. But no, I'm not Tiella. I'm Otella. Do try to keep up, won't you? Why did you call us here? Haven't you figured that out already? I wanted to see you, Aesop. Aesop? Why me? Tiella really liked you. You seemed super important to her. Like, there are extremely vivid memories of you and Tiella's data where there should be empty space. So it's hard not to be a little curious. The famous Iso, who Tiella found to be so important. So you controlled the monsters to lead me in here. You know the people in town have been scared witless about this. But nobody was hurt, were they? I made sure of that. Nonetheless, Ah, what a shame. Oh? I was really expecting more from this meeting. Butterflies in the stomach, maybe? Ugh, too bad. I can only blame myself for setting my expectations too high. Otella. No use in crying over spilt milk. That's how the saying goes, right? Hey, wait a minute. What are you going to do now? Good question. Hey, what would you do if I told you, Asil? Tell me, no? 
Give me orders and tell me to behave? I think I'd much rather go ahead and do whatever I feel like doing. No, wait, that's not what... <laughs> Relax. First thing I'll do is clear out the dragons. I got what I wanted out of them anyway. See you later, Aesol. You too, Ayn. It was interesting meeting you. So, Aesol, 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 it was Aesol. It was Aesol. Otella. Aesol, Aesol? <laughs> I don't remember. So, is that it? I have no idea. Because all we can do is trust what she says. So, what now? But tell us that she would call off the dragons. Which makes me feel like that issue is done and dusted. I guess we should be happy about that much. Let's just count our blessings. We are right. But everyone in town will be pleased, at least. All I can do now is return to the Maya. There's nothing left to investigate here. Are you ready to go? Thanks for all of your help once again. Hmm. Are we gonna help Asil? Isil? Asil? Isil? Isil? Asil? Are we gonna help him like get with Otella now? Get with the twin sister? <laughs> Would it be right to call them twins? If they were all being engineered at the same time, it's like... 1, 3, 6, 12? I don't even know what the like number for that would be. Estina is waiting for us in the capital, right? So let's go there next. It looks like if I just do uh, Estina's now, then I'll definitely be able to do... Uh, Heim. Heim. Heim? Hain? Hain. Yeah, that's right. Hain's is a uh, character story after this. Alright, Estina. Oh yeah, right, I gotta do Cresses as well. Wait, I don't have level 2 bombs yet. Gotta wait. Hi, Estina. Thanks for coming, Ryan. So, as I send the letter, those incident incidents are occurring in the capital now as well. The victims were injured, but nothing life threatening as of yet. As a, oh, wait, this ain't the right accent. <laughs> Is the attacker still in the origin? I can't be sure, but now is probably our best chance to find them. Let's try the temple first and ask them about the incidents. Is this Braga? That's a rather uncouth way of gathering information, wouldn't you say? Who's that? Wait, I know that voice. Oh no, this is just someone else. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I I'll just use our normal voice for now. So you are still alive then, Miss Shadow Assassin. Or rather, Estina. Rosny, is that you? Okay, she. Who's that? Hi, I'm Rosny. I'm one of Estina's colleagues. No, you're not. Stop it, Rosny. I'm not one of you anymore. Oh, that's right. You left our organization. So? What are you doing in a place like this? Me? Doesn't matter. That's not what I came for. Then what did you come here for, Rosny? Well, that's obvious. You're the one going around calling yourself the Shadow Assassin, aren't you? Excuse me? Isn't that my line? Last time I checked, you were the Shadow Assassin. Meh. You mean, it's not you? Those attacks weren't the organization is doing. 
No, we have nothing to do with it. I'm searching for the attacker myself. But you expect me to believe that. It's up to you to what you it's up to you what you want to believe. I have no intention of fighting with you. You look like you're telling the truth. Fine. Oh, I get it. I wouldn't trust me either if I were in your position. So I'll leave it at that. Wait! Rosny! She got away from us! <laughs> Why would you show up all of a sudden, Rosny? Sorry, Ayn. Let's, let's take a break from our search for now. Do you have a moment to talk instead? I feel like I should probably tell you a bit more about my past, and the band of assassins I used to belong to. Okay. They used to call us the Dealers of Death. We were involved in all kinds of disputes. Political assassins, family feuds, you name it. There are always hundreds of silent wars going on in the world that you never hear about. And when people don't want to get their hands dirty, they call on a group like ours to do it for them. We killed anyone for the right price. We lived by the motto, never get caught. If no one saw you do it, then it wasn't you. That's the kind of people we were. Heartless killers. Dealers of death. How did you end up with them? That's the only way of life I've ever knew. By the time I was old enough to understand, I was already in too deep. A lot of other members fell into it the same way I did. Rosny is one of them. We're about the same age, so we used to work together a lot. We grew up talk taking lives for a living. But you left now, right? Yeah, I'm not with them anymore. I betrayed them. One day, I realized I couldn't do it anymore. That's the day I decided to leave. And well, you know the rest. Well, now you know about my past. As much as I'd like to, I can't erase it. And I can't act like it didn't happen. So, what now? I don't know. But now that I'm caught up with, this, with them again, I can't just go back to normal. Sorry, Ayn. I need some time to process all of this. I need to figure out what to do next. Yeah, don't rush into any decisions. I won't. I'll write to you again when I'm calmed down. <laughs> In my life. Alright, there we go. Okay, now to just hurry back. Ah, uh, where's the closest modus? Ah, uh, mm, the one above me? Yeah. Ooh, now that like, uh, the night theme just kicked in, I wonder what other, like, area themes we're gonna get in this game. Because I've really enjoyed all the ones that we've gotten for each of the towns so far. If though, I will say that, um, Lithi is kind of, like, eh, by comparison to the others, but it does still sound good. I don't know, I just like the way that the other areas are characterized by their themes better than Lithi. Alright. 
Now let's finally start leaving Hain and like hanging and just do his his quest is on story, thank you, Bob. Okay, where are ya? Behind the letter said this was a spot. Oh, I know. Were you waiting long? Uh I've been standing here a while. Oops, my apologies. That was never my intention. How about I buy you something? Buy a treat? Anyway, shall we go in? Oh yeah, mm. Welcome, I've kept the table open for you. Thank you, bartender. I see you're drawing the crowds, as always. <laughs> Flutter me all you want. I won't give you a free drink. I would never dream of it. So wine? Let's take a seat. Oh hey, we see emo here, which makes sense. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> that presentation the other day was quite a struggle. The thought of those children one day being my accomplices makes me worry about the future. You have to learn from your mistakes. It's not different from talking to the ladies. Every misstep is an opportunity to learn. Oh. Would you like a refill? Ah, I suppose I would. What's this? I haven't seen your face here before. Are you new? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, I am. Well, I'll tie the lucky one. I've stepped foot in this tavern countless times, and not once have I seen a beauty quite like yours. I. I. I but. 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 That's enough, Hain. I won't have you trying to sweet talk the new blood. Off you go now. Other guests are calling. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Bartender, you're so cruel. I nearly won her over. I got you laying a hand on my staff, and I'll lay my hands on you. Got it? Oh my. We can't be having that. Very well. I will abstain from showering the girls with the praise they deserve. Ugh, you never used to be this much of a slave. What was he like? He was a complete opposite. Straight laced is the word I'd use. It's hard to believe such a guy ended up turning into the womanizer you see today. Come now, bartender. One man shouldn't divulge in another man's past. What are you ashamed of? Truth is, you were an upstanding gentleman. That's not what I have a problem with. <laughs> Smooth move, Zane. Looks like another misfire for the local ladies' man. Hey, hey, that was no misfire. She was putty in my hands until it was rudely interrupted. <laughs> you still shot your shot, and you missed. What do you say, Yain? Maybe someone which, with experience like me, can teach you a thing or two? I'm afraid I'm not about to beg for advice from an old drunk. You're missing out. All this would've cost you was a drink. By the by, I heard you've been showing off your new gizmo to those whippersnappers. Are you talking about my submarine? That's the one! Don't tell me you're still souping up that whatchamacallit. If by souping up, you mean inventing, it's already completed. Inventing schmenting. Just be careful you don't turn old, into old fiosa for the mumbo jumbo. I mean, I know much about inventing, but only folks waste their lives going about chasing silly dreams. That's enough of that. Don't mind him. He's too drunk to know right from wrong. No. It's fine. 
I don't really care what he has to say. Are you done already? I'm just stepping out for some fresh air. What's up with him? Ayn, would you mind seeing if he's okay? No. No, I will. Oh, Ayn. Sorry for just walking out like that. Who was Fiosla? I'll tell you all about that when the time is right. But I think for now, we should call it a night. I'll have some things I need to consider for the next presentation anyway. Okay. A man named Hain. That should be his special technique? Yep. Turbulence Divide. Okay. And now we can uh, do emos, so let me drink some water first. I should be good for now. <laughs> but doing so many like deeper rumbly voices back to back is probably not the best idea. And then add on top of that, my normal voice too. It was like, ugh. Alright, so email? Let's fix that. Oh, hello, I. Did you. Did you read my letter? I had to come and see if you were okay. Thank you. I don't think they mean anything bad, but still. Sorry, I'm still singing. Do you mind if we talk after? I'd like you to listen to my song if you have the time, Ayn. Was that a typo that I just saw? You all give the show for the patrons as beautiful as any other. Ooh, excuse me. Thank you all for listening. That was amazing! Woo, Ava! <laughs> Wait, don't leave yet. Huh? Hey, what's this last problem? Maybe they're a friend of emails. It's you. I've seen you here before. Mm. I'm sorry for calling us so suddenly, but I need to speak with you. What do you want with email? I... But please don't get in my way. It's important. Important? Email. You were as wonderful as always today. Oh. Th thank you. I can feel your voice fill me with energy every time I hear you sing. That's very nice of you to say. Anyway, that's why. Oh, Emo. I fell for you the first moment I heard you sing. I really like you. Will you go out with me, please? Huh? What did he just say? In front of all these people. Oh, oh, to be young again. Oh my, it's not lovely. No, this isn't something to be impressed by. He's putting poor Emo into such an awkward situation, confessing like this. Uh, uh, thank you. I like you a lot too. Really? No way! When did Emo get so close with a god like that? You've got it all wrong. This is young love in bloom. Uh, oh, Emo. So... Oh, wait, no. <laughs> oh, oh, Emo. So, you will go out with me? Yes. Where will we be going? Yeah, I figured. 
Hmm? No, that... That wasn't what I meant by go out. It wasn't. Remember? With the kids the other day. The thing about fancies? Ah, uh, good old language barrier. You explain the real meaning behind the young man's words. So that's what he meant. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't go out with you. Uh. But please don't think that means I dislike you or anything. I like everyone in Chateola. So that's how it is? <laughs> of course. It was dumb of me to ask you to give me special treatment out of the blue. I'm sorry. No, Emo. Thank you for being upfront with me. That you listen to me at all is more than enough. I'll keep chewing you on though. So please, don't stop singing. Oh, right. I'll do my best. Uh, I'm... What should I do now? Ah, uh, here you are again. Take a break, Emo. The back room is open for you. Oh, okay. Would you mind accompanying her, Ayn? The letter A! Wait, letter? Ignore that. <laughs> that was such a shock. You and me both. I feel I should apologize to him. He's not a bad person. I just misunderstood. And that's nobody's fault. Still, I'll apologize next time I see him. Do you think there will ever be a time when I go out with someone? Is there someone you had in mind? I don't know. I said before that I like everyone in Shatola. But not in that way, I guess. Besides, I... I must... Me... Meep. Meep. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I'm fine. I said meh at first. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'll be going back now. Everyone must be waiting for me. Please do visit again soon, I... Emo and the Confession. Lower Lay's Tears. Okay. I will say, just right off the get go, that going through Estina's and uh, Emo's stories so far have really like shown just how cute they can be. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna try to hold fast, hold strong, and steady for. The pick that I already had in mind since the beginning of the game. Alright. That's everybody, so I think it's time that we can just go ahead and call it a day. Alright, speedy time! As well as the start of chapter 4, right? Day 13. There's some commotion outside. Ah, uh, here we go. What she wants to protect, Mistina. And that's it? Okay. A yellow one, okay. Hmm, what are you gonna look like? So? So? Is the winter seaside safe? Whoa, okay. Ah. Very interesting, very different. From the other three, honestly. Hmm. Totally, I got those blue flowers and real suit looking guys under control. Huh. I feel like out of anybody, she would match Juna in terms of energy. Or maybe even outpace her in energy. So kind of like the Genki girl. Probably? <laughs> 
totally. I got these blue flowers and rubble suit looking guys under control. Wow. Sounds like things are pretty hectic. Good job, I guess. This is another friend of yours? Why are you so surprised? You went to solve the problem with the winter sea slides, remember? <laughs> Arya's gonna be so happy. I saw this noise so early in the morning. I guess I don't need to ask. The fourth one has joined us. Finally. That's right! You should be much happier now that all four of the great fairies are together. Celebrate already! Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. My first impression was right. I'm the Winter Seaside Fairy. How's it going? Yep. Hello. Just because there are more of them doesn't mean you should treat them any different, Ayn. With all the great treaties assembled, you could stand to be a bit more... I don't know... awestruck? When does the fifth one get here? You know there are only four sea sites, right? Where do you think the fifth one is going to come from? The there? I don't know. Where do you need me? You're going to help with the farm, obviously. We have the skills it takes to really make this farm thrive. Yay! Plowing the field is going to be so much fun. With the blessings of the earth, water, and wind together like this, we can bring harmony to the four nations. The farm, I mean. Well, aren't you forgetting someone super important? Oh, they didn't leave her in. Let's do our best. The farm? Heck yeah, that's my number one specialty. I look forward to working with everyone. Wait, that's it? Okay, please remember it. Yes, this should be pleasant. How does everyone feel about taking a big nap together? <sighs> Should I be worried? Shiri. <laughs> okay now. Ah uh, wait, so... That's... okay. That's two other references to uh, some VTubers, but okay. A uh, Shiri. Shiri. Oh, from her design too. Honestly, I want to call her Poppy. Yeah, in honor of, honestly, <laughs> the best girl from Xenoblade Play Two. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Poppy. I feel fine with this. A new Poppy order has been added. This is like the only one that I've like completely changed too. I mean, Error still like had the same base from uh, before, but yeah, you're just completely different. Got some crops begging to be harvested. Okay. There is a letter here for you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. All right. Uh, do we continue character stories for now? Yeah, let's do that. All right. So what's in these letters? Oh, we got a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, right. Starting the new characters too. I need to talk to you. I never thought I'd meet Ro Rosny again in Arjean, of all places. I suppose this is punishment for running away from my sins for so long. I, I have something very important I want to discuss. Would you come and meet me at the orphanage? From Stina. All right. What's the Castle Lewis Times like? Talking about here, the Seas Light Order scandal. Greetings, citizens! We have received reports of an alleged scandal within the Seaslight Order, who are headquartered in the holy capital of Argeen. An associate of the Seaslight Order informed us that the Patriarch has temporarily left his office. 
We anticipate this order to ensue in the holy capital due to the order's tremendous influence. However, please rest assured, citizens. We, the Lewis Kingdom Brigade, will act on behalf of the order. We pledge to protect the citizens and their safety. While investigations are ongoing, please avoid the winter seaside until permission is given. It poses no immediate threat to life until close contact is made. The Castle Lewis Div Intelligence Division. That's not good. Like, as soon as like a power vacuum has been created, the uh, prevailing authority just swoops in and fills it, huh? Finally, some respite, Shika. I hope you are well. I'm sending this letter as I wish to express my gratitude for your assistance before. Without it, I am sure our struggle would have been far greater. If you happen to find yourself in Arjun, then I hope you will come to visit the temple. It would be nice to finally have the opportunity to speak freely. I look forward to seeing you. Yours sincerely. Shrika. I hope that's not too vastly different from what I did for her before. Don't forget, Braka. You may be my client, but while I don't and while I don't have a problem with you turning up on my hideout now and again, I don't want you to turn up on my doorstep without a good reason. Got it? Only come to see me if you need me, or have a request. And if you do need to see me, make sure you talk to the innkeeper first. We clear. Braka. Okay. Stina at the Mayor Orphanage, and then the other two character stories. Ah, uh, right. Tend to the farm first before you do anything, dummy. Ah, uh, here we go. Well, actually, let's go look at the new orders and see if we can get anything first. Welcome back. Right. So, what are Poppy's uh, orders? Crafting? Oh. Whoa! Is there anything you can't do? A spice maker? Mayonnaise maker. Okay. Oh, destroy skill. Charge. Oh, okay. Haven't really... Probably our best bet to get the next upgrade is to make these makers first. Whoa! Is there anything you can't do? Okay. Yep. With the hammer equipped, hold by the charge and release it to break larger rocks. First order of business, let's become free. Take this. Yeah. Take this. Oh, okay. Okay. What do I do now? <laughs> well, let's just go ahead and plant everything that I can. It's summer. Ooh. Hello. Harvest a nectar chain. Ooh, these are not reharvestable. Re but I think they'll be fine. Alright, let's put all of this away. Yeah, from here on out, I'll switch to um, selling monster drops and doing quests for my money. Even if it will hurt in the short term, because I won't be able to make any food quite yet. I, I need to make two of these. One to sell, one to have a break with. You know, I don't typically eat seafood, but I think I would definitely eat this. The Fisherman's Sandwich. A seafood sandwich packed full of local Chateauland ingredients. Originally created by fishermen as an easy lunch. Wow. I'm. thank you for coming. Sorry for this sudden letter. You must have been worried when I said I had something important to talk about. What is it? I'm leaving the orphanage. Ralston, you said that the others aren't involved, but it's only a matter of time before they are. She's bound to tell them that she found me in the capital. If they find out where I am, not just going to sit on that information. I'm a traitor. They would absolutely send an assassin out to kill me. They're ruthless. They'd stop at nothing to get the job done. If they found out I worked at an orphanage, they used that to their advantage. You mean they take hostages? We'd be lucky if that's all they did. Just know that me being at the orphanage puts everyone in grave danger. And I can't let that happen. 
I don't want anyone getting hurt because of my past. Do you really want to leave though? It's not about whether I want to or not. I have to, for the sake of the children. Don't look at me like that, I... I'm just leaving the orphanage. It's not like we'll never see each other again. We've still got to find the attacker who's been using my name. They'll be losing yet another teacher. It's a shame. Mrs. Tina! <gasps> we finally found you, Mrs. Tina. Oh, hi. What's the matter? Did I miss something? You sure did. You promised to read us our new picture book today, remember? Yeah, we're all waiting for you. Oh. Don't tell me you forgot, Mrs. Tina. No, of course I didn't. Are you sure? What did you, what did you promise to play with us tomorrow then? You're still gonna play with us the day after tomorrow too, right? Yes, we're playing as Princess in the Omen and Conalude Catch. I haven't forgotten. We're finally gonna catch you this time, Harbinger Estina. No, I'll save you, Princess Estina. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'll be right over to read you the picture book as soon as I finish here, okay? I won't be long. Yes, yes ma'am. You play a princess? They all want to play the hero, so they need a princess to save. They're counting on me tomorrow, and the day after. Come to think of it, I've made loads of plans with them. I'm sure we'll make more too. They get to need you. Fine. You're right, though. First it was Tiella. Now if I go too, who will be left to protect them? I've decided, Ayn. I'm not leaving the orphanage. I panicked a little after seeing Rosny again. But whatever happens, I will protect the kids. We can beat them with our eyes closed. Well, I doubt it's gonna be that easy. But hey, maybe you're onto something. That's the kind of attitude we'll need to beat them. It looks like I'll be counting on you even more than from now on, Nine. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Anyway, now that's decided. We still have got the issue of that imposter. We still haven't figured out their motive. I'll keep gathering whatever information I can find. I'll be in touch again when I've made some progress. Sounds good. Thanks for the chat today. I've got to get back to the kids with my Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> I'll see you later. Pretty fast one Edie on her decision to leave, huh? But you know, I'll allow it. Zombie Mushroom. Alright. So I haven't found anywhere to like, have a break yet. But, for now. Oh. Mm. Okay, so 565. I have nothing to use money for. Yet. What do you need in the first place? Ah, oh, okay. Ice cream? I was just about to say that a lot of hearty stuff that'll keep it warm and then I just- there's just ice cream down here. So never mind. Alright. Braca! You get out here right now. You... 
man? What man? I don't know. Hello, welcome to... Oh, you again. What is it this time? I'm here to meet Bracca. He's not here right now. You said you had a job to do. Okay, she's saying he, but... I don't know. Like, with the coat off. Yeah, I'll just uh, keep going with he until it's confirmed. But he should be back soon. Ah, speak of the devil. Hey, I don't remember telling you to be so casual with my info. Isn't this your friend? Couldn't that can't be that big of a deal. That is, unless you are on a job you wouldn't want friends knowing about. No, it's not that. I just don't like information being spread around my behind my back. Okay, okay, I won't. More downstairs. Come talk to me there if you need something. What are you buying? Okay. So, what is it? Um, I'd like to know more about you. I thought so. Look, sorry, you should go home. I had a long day at work. I'm too tired to jack right now. Where'd you have to go? I had to escort some traveling merchants to Shatola. The pay was good, but we got attacked by a crap load of monsters. So you work as a bodyguard? Not exactly. I'm a mercenary. I just took that job because I was asked to. I get all kinds of aggress. Killing monsters, suddenly feuds. I've been going searching for treasure. For the right price. <laughs> That's what mercenaries do. So you do a bit of everything? No. People employ mercenaries to do their dirty work for them. If anything, I think working a normal job would be harder. There's so many rules to follow. In that sense, I think it's easier being a mercenary. There's nothing you can't solve with brute force. Why did you become a mercenary? I'm just suited to it. As long as you've got the skill, you can earn money and even trust. Best job in the world, wouldn't you say? Besides, I didn't have any other options. I'm not looking for sympathy, just so you know. If I really hated this work, I would have quit it a long time ago. Haven't you ever felt like quitting? Beats me. That's not for you to know anyway, how. I've entertained you for long enough. You happy now? I told you. I'm tired. Let me go to sleep. Good night. I'll come back another time. I might just talk to you if I'm bored enough. When will I quit being a mercenary? When I finally give them all, of course. Until then, I don't plan on stopping. Life as a mercenary. Peaches and roses. Ice stone. Okay. All right. Oh, you never leave some water after that. Ugh. And pause just to make sure that we don't lose any time. Also, the main story is just... Not here, so I just need to wait for time to pass. Hmm. Interesting. I, I just assumed she was over here. But you know what? Let's just teleport over. Oh! We're inside! Sorry, I was yawning, so I was just expecting for the uh, thing to start. Hmm. Uh, oh, this is like a little, uh, like, monument of it, huh. Oh, hi. Wiseman's Root. Alright, just blend in. 
Tak. That is all I have to report. Oh, that was a priestess. Whoops. Thank you. Keep me posted. Yes, she's Sister Shrika. <sighs> Who? Who's this? Ayn. Thank you for coming. You look busy. You could say that. Cleaning up after what happened with Kierkegaard is taking much longer than anticipated. What with the Peterak missing and the Floss and Odentia vanished? Not to mention this all happened while many were still unconscious. To put it lightly, the Order's in a state of mass disarray. Imagine if they knew the truth. I dread to. Which is why I do not attend to divulge the details of what happened. Anyway, that's why I've been so busy. It would be nice to have this matter dealt with sooner rather than later. Which is why Sister Shrika should be ordained as the Order's new matriarch. Okay. Look at this. They are the Order's upper echelons. Will you give me a moment? Sis um, Sister Shrika, or perhaps Sarah's child, would be more apt. Have you given our discretion any further consideration? I have. No one else within the Order has the wants to become its next leader. I dare say there's a very real chance the Order may dissolve if things continue in this manner. I'm quite aware of that, but... Then why the delay? Everyone was requesting that you take up the mantle of Matriarch. Myself more among them. But... Oh. As Matriarch, you will be able to answer the prayers of so many. Only you, the third child of legend, would have such miraculous power. So, what say you? Move. Pardon? Cities? You? How dare you interrupt? Shriga, I have an important report about the case you mentioned. You went to a thorough discussion for this? It's part of the job. Sorry. Besides this, this is harder to place to pressure her for a decision, is it? Or are you making demands that you decide the matriarch? Demands! Such an such an absurdity. Sister Shrika, please consider my proposal. Of course. You should really work on your manners. But I appreciate the save. Thank you. Well, it's no big deal. Anything a delinquent priest like me can do to help. Well, thank you anyway. Now, about the case. Did you learn anything? Is there something else going on? With none of your concern. No, I would like Arn to hear. The number of laymen complaining about ill health has been growing as of late. It's the place of the doctors to step in if there's an epidemic. So I asked them to run medical examinations to be sure. And unfortunately, it looks like your suspicions were right on the money. Results have shown not just high fever and physical exhaustion, but they also discovered a strange phenomenon where patients' eyes are being stained blue. Oh. This isn't a... a miracle drug being tested on them by any chance, would it? I doubt as much. There's a disease like that. No, this isn't a disease. 
It's the work of monsters. What do you mean? There are creatures in particular known as Niadain. They are usually seen wandering around the vicinity of water. However, they have a habit of contaminating the area where they live, creating water that is harmful to humans. Cities? The infected. Have they been performing rites at the temple? They have. It's as you suspected. Anyone who has performed rites in the past week have been infected. Do you use water in the rites? You're catching on. Those who partake in the rites drink the holy water to purify themselves. And the holy water is drawn from the divine seaside cave. Which leads me to believe the cause of the contamination is a Niadine. How do you know so much about them? I fought one with once before. I dealt with a similar case while also out on a missionary expedition. That makes sense. The water the Niadine contaminates looks and smells almost no different than normal. Which means those who didn't get unawares are already being eaten away by the time that the leader realize. Left untreated could be fatal. Cities, may I ask you to make a formal request? We're temporarily halting the rites. If I must, I will inform the administrators. Which means it's our time to sit back and relax now. If the Nyajin makes their way to the capital, they were all into trouble. We'll have to take it out, quick. I wish I could, but I can't right now. A Nyajin isn't a monster to be taken lightly. It will require some preparation. Which I intend to do right away. I'm sorry we didn't have an opportunity to catch up as planned. Let me help you then. You would help me? Really well. Honestly, I do need a partner for this. Really good. In that case, I will send a letter once preparations are complete. Please stand by until then. Oof. Trigger's duty. Genesis. Lightning Stone. Yeah, that'll be the last of the character stories. Because it's starting to become like a lottery in terms of the voices <laughs> that I give to them. So let's go ahead and uh, start some quests now. Ooh wee. Uh, it's almost evening, so I would say next next best thing would be to mm, return home. Yeah would be to start all of the ones in Lethe first, because I want to finish those up. Whew, okay. I might not be able to do as many quests as I want to do, because I'm starting to get hungry. I know what these things are for. It's like, they've been like littered around, but there's just been no explanation whatsoever. Are they just shorthand to like figure out like what a particular building is for. Alright, after 8pm, so I have a lot of time to kill. Alright, there we go, fisherman sandwich. Oh, now a thousand dollars richer. Let's see what's going on with this well, and whether or not the mayor has something to do with it. Hi, you, you're here! Let's check the well. Now then, evil ghost, come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh. Hmm. Eh? We were right. It was a ghost. I know. Oh, what do we do? Let's look inside the well. And side. No way! I'm not getting eaten up in there! Feed yourself. Well, can you say anything? As you peek into the well, you hear the voice again, 
clearer than before. Oh, thank God. I can't get enough. <laughs> this one will be fully matured soon. I can't wait to just... Chug it all down. <laughs> if you didn't like that noise, I'm sorry. Well, what was in there? It'll be fine. Honest. What do you mean it'll be fine? Ooh, okay. There we go. Ooh, excuse me. I'll come with you then. I don't want to be left here alone. <gasps> what a twist! Ah, so refreshing. Maya, what are you doing? Hmm? Why are you two here? I should ask you the same. Oh, what's that smell? What, were you in here drinking, Maya? Ah, oh, well, looks like I've been found out. Hold on, Maya! Oh, I meet you in here. I get the feeling I wasn't supposed to see this. Why don't you have some with me? There's plenty to go around. Ew, no thanks. Anyway, where's the ghost? I'm really mice. Whoops. Mice? Oh, yes, of course. Thanks to you, Ein. Those mice are gone once and for all. My alcohol is saved. My gratitude to you knows no bound. I read that wrong. <laughs> you are the protector of the pulps, the defender of the drinks. Hey, Ein, do you think maybe this is our ghost? Yep, it was just a mirror all along. Ah, I'm like such an idiot. What is it, Liz Lizlet? Why all the shouting? Did you change your mind? I'll pour you some if you. No! I. We're going home. Oh, hold on a minute. What now? I forgot to say something important. Important, you say? Yes, very important. Could you keep this tavern a secret from the townspeople? Yes! Ugh. I must go. How often do you just get drunk down here, actually? Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm. Do you have any more of that repellent? Yeah, why? Come on, just hand it over. This that takes the repellent from you. Even if a human takes big gulps of it, the worst that can happen is they won't stop sneezing all day, but... Don't you think we should teach Amaya a little lesson? Yeah, do it. <laughs> Later? A rumor soon spread around Lithio to sneezing well. He didn't even notice us just tampering with his supply, oh wow. Ooh, I should plant those, uh, onions. Alright! If I'll be honest... I need to call it here. Because... My throat is... <laughs> Ooh! Yeah, I need to get back into the... Back into... Voice acting again. Because this... It's gotten tired a lot faster. 
and I'll at least end the day so that I can like uh, save organically. And then I'll just call it shortly after. Oh! Evening? Hello? Chapter 4! Battle to save the world! Well, here's the story! <laughs> hey, Ayn! Can I talk with you a, a sec? Doing Arya's voice is fine. No? Since we've been to see each of the four seas like now... What about them? Well... I'd like to go over what we found. One thing they all have in common is that something alien appeared nearby. I know I've said it a bunch already, but they really look a lot like products of my time. The Heaven's Egg near the Spring Sea site was a laboratory that built a dragon defense system. Then there was Lorelei at the Sumer Summer Sea site along with the Philosophical Flame, a source of crystallized energy. Oh! That was the uh, anomaly at that one. The Winter Sea site had the automata, which the Patriarch used to hypnotize the hearts of his people. You think there's some kind of connection? I think there might be. Not to mention the Sea site itself, which looks like just like the Red Queen that brought chaos to my time. The weird part is, more and more of those objects keep appearing in this time. It feels like someone has an agenda and is causing weird time distortions and time slips to happen. Is it really just coincidence that I'm wrapped up in all of it too? Sorry, I know it sounds ridiculous, but that's where my mind is at right now. But who would stand again from that? That much, I don't know. But there was something that's been bugging me ever since we destroyed Lorelei and Shatola. Hain and me, Hain and I met an omen when we were investigating Lorelei's relic. You said his name was Geist. Geist. Why'd you keep this a secret? I didn't mean to, honestly. I just wanted to let it percolate a little bit. But that Geist seemed awfully well informed. Whether he's the one behind all this remains to be seen, but there's no denying he's totally in on it. Geist. Does hearing it ring any bells? Oh! I do not know Geist's goal, but there's no denying he will cause irreparable damage to this star. Are oh, you right? Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. I can't let you take this human, Diantis. I have been ordered to take it to Geist. You mean the omen that was at me back then was Geist? But if that's true, back then, wasn't he... Ugh! None of this makes any sense! The only thing we can do is march up to him and demand he tell us what the deal is, face to face. But he won't be easy to find. He flies around in his airship, right? Paring out of nowhere like a ghost. Just want to go home. I need to give mom and dad the data I got on the Red Queen. Thank you for sharing what you know. Let's get some sleep. Good night. Wow, okay. Day 14. There's some commotion outside. The fifth fate is here. No. <laughs> okay, who is it? It's raining? Okay. Or that could just be the waterfall. There's a commotion over in that direction. Ooh, the cave biome is open now! Uh, so it begins to walk. I'm betting two more cutaways before we get there. 
No, no, okay. So this will just be, um, Poppy and Juna? When did this get here? No, we got caught already. I want to prepare a showy speech first. Who cares about that? Now we can show off our work. I couldn't wait for this moment. Well, well, how is it? This is the cave biome we made. Did you two make this? Sure did. We can't let those two show us up. We can make biomes too, you know. In this cave biome, we can grow plants and dry land. Yep, yep. Well, how is it? I think it looks very... Great Fairy-esque. Wouldn't you say so? Of course! Are you kidding me? What? Is that it? Aren't you even gonna reward us? With like, I don't know... Triple snacks or something? I'll consider it. Heh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Too many snacks and I won't be able to fly anymore. Anyway... This means you'll not be able to grow crops that you couldn't grow before. So, take care of them. Oh, oh, and just so you know, the crops you grow in here prefer dry land, so there's no need to water them. That's right! Keep it dry as a desert in here. Those veggies will grow up to be tough and strong. Do you really want the vegetables to be tough, though? You lock the cave biome. You use biomes during spring... Summer and fall. Okay, so it's universal. Gotcha. Why not in winter though? Look at that. Is it because the temperature would not be conducive to um crops growing? All right. So I just need to till the land and then um. Not even. Uh. Okay, there is a chest in here, thankfully. So where are those crops? This one. Spring and winter. Can't plant that. And this one. Alright, let's get planting. Alright, what's over here? Oh, a Connolly doll. Okay. I really wonder how many of these things I have now. Okay, that's a good place to use up for now. But, we, hey, we got a little bit of story before you end it, which is honestly I'm happy for. 